basic sorgonomics at sorgatron on the twitter with you once again and, and we're uh coming off of course you know podcast day we do every tuesday in this past week i had a nice smattering of interviews uh you know video a lot of technology social media and of course pro wrestling pro wrestlers I talk with on a, on a weekly basis here in some configuration. Uh, and that's just for the, this is the hobby, uh, really, in the long run, that, that kind of informs that professional side of things, as we discussed in the past. But uh, I, I was thinking a lot about how I kind of prepare for some of these interviews. And I, I don't know if it's the right way. I don't know if I'm a professional, official uh, interviewer with my methods. Uh, but realizing um, how little I prepare <laughs> for certain things... Um, now I I have a few methods, but how I pick who I how who I interview with, um, you know, a lot of times it's uh, for the wrestling podcast. I'm typically trying to talk with people that I've interacted with already. Uh, part of the idea with the Indie Mayhem show is that um, I'm bringing people from my world, doing video production for for uh, independent pro wrestling or other projects around pro wrestling, and, and knowing through that, like, okay, that's a person I can talk to in person. Then I, I that has already happened. I can bring them on. So I, I really do operate with a safety zone when it comes to that show. There's also another buffer because I also have a co-host who's doing the same thing. I hope over on his end with the work he does down in in uh, Austin, Texas with Inspire Pro Wrestling. So we have that comfort level, and there's a little bit of you know I don't know how a lot of these guys got trained. I don't don't know a lot of their backstories. Sometimes if there's somebody that's kind of rolled in town, like hey, you're cool. Let's talk with you. Um, I just want to know if it's going to be entertaining, uh, or interesting at least, you know, uh, you know, so many people will only hear so many stories about me. Yeah, I trained with this guy and did this thing and, and I got an opportunity. We're doing a cool thing and I became a champion, whatever the case. Now with other things like the tech stuff, um, I employed some interesting, not interesting tactics, but I mean, in my mindset, uh, when we did, uh, things, when I have to go out and interview with some people, or when I uh, want, uh, you know, doing things like the, the unsung with nonprofits and everything, I I wanted an inkling of what they did and an idea, but generally I want to give them the opportunity to tell me to teach me as the layman. Um, this worked really well when we were talking about um, mental health, healthcare, a lot of concepts I'm definitely not an expert with. So I let myself sit back and be the interested party and 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 let them explain it to me and kind of try to uh, draw that out of them, I guess, in the long run. So a lot of times when I'm going on awesome chat, awesome cast, and I have some of these people on, I don't I, I only have a couple nuggets of information, but it was enough that I'm hoping was the tip of the iceberg for what we could get out of them. So I'll, I'll invite these people on and I'll say, hey, you know, the people out there I, I don't know what 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 you're about. Uh, maybe they just came across you because they listened to the show or there's a couple of keywords that popped up and they're kind of curious. So I give them an opportunity to say, hey, what are you about? Tell, explain to me what your thing is, you know, whether that be a service, whether that be a a, a product that they're working on or, 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 or these kids tonight from Point Park University that are trying to do Red, a Red Bull competition. You know, I, I thought that was interesting enough. It's not typically in the wheelhouse of what we try to do, but I don't really have a defined um, – mission statement for that show other than uh talk to awesome people in tech and social media or whatever this is using social media and yeah it's a kind of a i'm helping with a glorified ad for uh red bull i even bought a can tonight in solidarity to help these kids out but i was more wanting uh you know something for pittsburgh kids that are doing a really cool thing uh to get out there and and, and have some fun and, and represent the city and i'm hoping that we do you know at least in a small part get those kids out there to do something fun and cool um and again, kind of going into that a little bit of blind and having that conversation. And I hope, again, that I draw out on, I guess I'm hoping that I have this uh, base knowledge of whatever the topic is. And we're able to kind of take that and have them explain to me and then spark some new questions out of that and keep that kind of flow going naturally rather than, and I've been in this situation where I've done this kind of thing, especially early on with the wrestling. Oh, the interviews are so bad, and and I and I and I definitely showcase some of the bigger names that we've talked to over the years, like from about five or six years ago. 
probably not the great interviews. We had the list of questions. I was always worried about it uh, a day in going into it and saying, well, we're going to ask about this thing. I'm reading the Wikipedia page and I'm looking back through history and I'm doing Google searches and checking out YouTubes and I say, well, we should, we should ask about this thing. Oh, I, I heard you did this thing when you were, you were coming up in the world, you know? Um, but generally those things come out in, in conversation, especially if there's something that they think is a good story that they like to share. Um, and some want to tell more than others, of course. And, uh, you know, uh, during the course of these, uh, like I said, uh, you know, we, we see we see interviews that are more conversational, like we see with Cole Cabana. And I hope that we come off quasi like that. Um, we have these standard questions, but uh, but again, I want it to be a conversation. I want them to be talkative. Um, and, and, and as we go, I, I want that to be the way, uh, another thing of, you know, I, I talked about before about how I, I brought together, uh, questions for these wrestlers at the time or American gladiators when we had a couple of those guys from the NBC show on and, uh, and really kind of, uh, being concerned and worried about how the interview was going to go. Um, still to this day, even when I have somebody on that I know, like today we had, uh, Shane Taylor on, he's somebody that I've interacted with several times. Uh, really always been really friendly to me. Um, and, 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 you know, really cool to work with, really cool to talk with. And, uh, you know, still, you know, I'm worried about the, the interview coming off. Well, you know, I'm worried about doing my part to, um, um, orchestrate, cultivate the interview and make sure it, it, it comes off well for them, well for the show and, and kind of represent, re- represents them pretty well. Um, so yeah, after, after all these, um, I, I definitely have a little bit of a, a confidence that, um, it's not paralyzing, but I do get the butterflies in my stomach, just, you know, coming down and doing that sort of thing. The only thing I don't, and maybe that's a problem is this, uh, show where I'm really kind of doing stream of conscious off, off, off of my head. But even that's a little bit of like, oof, is that enough for me to do more than five minutes? You know, when you look down at the timer, you're like, wow, I just did three. Really? Not the case here with this episode, of course, but still it's a concern as we go. Uh, so really, I, I don't know if it's really any tips or anything for anybody looking to do interviews. You kind of need you kind of need to slide into your um, comfort zone. I know, and that's a broad term. It's not a tip. It's not a how to on anything. Uh, and it really is a, a practice makes purpose perfect. <laughs> practice makes perfect a, a kind of situation. Uh, maybe you start a podcast and you interviewed um, smaller fish to begin with. Again, that comfort level. Maybe you have a community podcast, so you bring in. Hey, I'm going to have. Uh, uh, you know, the person I always talk to at brew or at the coffee shop come in and, and we're going to discuss, um, you know, something to see, or you interview, I, I had this fantastic idea and I, I, I recorded some stuff and never really did anything with, I wanted to talk to my, my, my grandfather and, and, and my great uncle about, uh, growing up in Pittsburgh and, and, you know, you can do that. And I think that those are always fascinating stories. Um, you know, talking about things, especially somebody that's in their seventies, eighties, nineties, or whatever town you're in. I'm like, really? It was like this here, you know, because it really, a lot has changed in that time. And it's somebody that you already talked to, hopefully their family, um, or whatever the case, find that comfort zone, start somewhere and, uh, fig- figure that out, uh, over time, over time, over time. Um, I can easily say that I've probably had hundreds of interviews at this point that I've been a part of hundreds of interviews at this point. So there's, you know, that builds, that builds over time. You're not going to pick up tomorrow unless you got some weird, insane comfort level, uh, and just be good at this right off the bat. Uh, the people who go to radio, Hey, they practice all through schooling. Right. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, so, but it's okay to be nervous. Um, I remember, uh, there was a wrestler, uh, Taz right now, who ironically does podcasting and radio stuff right now. Uh, and, uh, he, he, he wrestled for several years, was a pretty big deal, came, came up to the big leagues. And after a few years says, Hey, the butterflies aren't there when I walk out to the ring anymore. That's a problem. And I think that's the case too. Uh, as much as I love to get on a stage and, and talk or sing or whatever the case may be, perform in some fashion, teach, whatever the case may be. Um, I, I know that if the butterflies aren't there, even though that I'm able to kind of slide past them and go ahead, um, then I know it's not for me anymore. And you need to look for the the next thing. Yeah, but 
Let me know what you think. Are you an interviewer online? Do you have any thoughts on this? Uh, Basic Sorgonomics, Sorgatron.com. Sign up for the newsletter over there. And of course, if uh, you need help with uh, interviews, podcasting, video production, whatever the case may be, social media, sidekickmediaservices.com is our business services part of the Sorgatron Media Empire. We hope uh, you guys can swing by, have a discussion with us, and, uh, and, and we hope we can help you guys out with even through these, through education, whatever the case may be. Um, that's what we're doing. That's our bag these days. And I'm hoping this becomes a uh, small part of that as well. Thank you so much for watching, listening, wherever the case may be. Share it with a friend if you're liking some of the conversation that's happening. And we'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.